Good evening, everyone. Thank you for giving me the privilege to introduce you to this year's recipient, or should I say recipients, of the P. Leo Corcoran Humanitarian Award. That's right, this year we are thrilled to recognize an entire family for their long-term commitment to supporting others in their time of need. This is a special honor to me, acknowledging my dear friends, the Callahan family. Marie, John, Steve, Tim, Michael, Patrick, and the entire Callahan brood, thank you. Your continued support of Caritas is amazing, and it's so meaningful to the residents that we serve. As we all know, committing yourself to serving others does not come by happenstance. In the case of Leo and Helen Corcoran, it was an awareness and a sensitivity to people in need and a willingness to lean in and do something about it. Seeing multiple generations of the Corcoran family here tonight only confirms these value systems run deep. In addition to the Corcorans, we are blessed by having so many other families that, and many institutions that have been long-standing supporters of this important work the Caritas team does each and every day. In the case of the Callahan family, it all starts at the top. Marie, I have to give you a lot of credit. Five boys. That's a feat in itself. Uh, and Marie is here with us tonight, so I'd like to recognize Marie. In speaking to her sons, they espoused that she strongly believed that it was not what you got, it's what you gave. Raising the five boys, she guided them through what they are today, men that value relationships over all else, operating with integrity, and being the catalyst to make great things happen. The family has thankfully been committed to support it to over 50 charities in the greater Boston area, including Caritas. What I love about the family focus is the commitment of their, themselves to the initiatives and causes that change the course of people's lives. Their long-term commitment to Caritas has been truly remarkable, and they continue to find new and innovative ways to support us. Most recently, organizing a volunteer day at Caritas' Winter Street Quincy Project. Their efforts will greatly enhance the lives of our residents for years to come. Marie, I'd be remiss of not recognizing your partner in crime, Jack. Jack was Marie's late husband, and I'll tell you a quick story about Jack. Pat Callahan and I established a, uh, a wonderful tradition a few years back when our fathers reached their 80s. Both were devout Red Sox fans, and they absolutely were passionate about going to the Red Sox. It was a labor of love given their health conditions but it was truly remarkable to see these two 80-year-old gents rally to not let down their sons or let down um, each other so that we could celebrate just one more Red Sox game. The last memory that I have of the two gents together is when we were both wheeling them out in wheelchairs from the Red Sox. A car was awaiting for them, being Jack and Jim, they reached for their wallets to drive, pay the driver, Driver shook it away and said, your sons have already paid for this. They said, that's remarkable. I didn't see any cash pass hands. We said, it's called Uber. <laughs> I've learned over the years that Caritas is that family support where individuals have no one else to turn to. I've watched in awe as our residents acknowledge their challenges and seek our support as they fight back. That is what family is all about. The Caritas family stepping up each and every day to be there for people that are in need. I could go on and on about telling stories about the Callahans. If you'd like to join me at MJ O'Connor's after the evening, I'm happy to share some of them, but I know the Callahans will give me the hook. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to this year's recipients of the P. Leo Corcoran Humanitarian Award, the Callahan family. Hey, before we get started, um, 
my mother's going to kill me for this, but um, we all want to recognize her. She turned 95 three days ago. And, uh, so, um, you know, she, she, we all look up to her as Callahan's. She taught us a lot, uh, all the do's and don'ts, and you know, how to go about life. And uh, she, obviously, she started it with my father. So uh, we just wanted to give her a quick round of applause and recognition for her birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday, Mom. Um, I also want to recognize my older brothers. I'm the baby of the family. Uh, my brother John, my brother Mike, my brother Steve, my brother Tim, were all guys I, liked, I looked up to over the years. Um, just studs, you know, they were just great shits, you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, they taught me a lot of do's and don'ts too. I would say mainly don'ts, but um, I, you learn from those too as well. So uh, I love you guys. Thank you very much. Um, I, you know, us Callahans, we kind of we kind of go in packs. We've got about 30 Callahans here tonight. So uh, between nieces, nephews, sons, daughters, and my son right there, and my daughter over there, um, and our wives. And uh, thank you all for coming. Really appreciate it. So um, this guy right here, um, Jim Coughlin, he's the main man. Uh, thank you for putting this together. I really appreciate it. Uh, we're good friends, good business partners, and I'd do anything for this guy, and I think you'd do the same for me, and I really appreciate you doing this tonight. Um, I'd actually also like to uh, uh, thank a lot of people in the audience. You know, over the years, we've, uh, uh, you know, had a lot of good introductions and relationships and friendships with uh, a lot of folks, uh, whether it be some of the subs that are here, owners, architects, OPMs, developers. Uh, I want to thank you for those relationships where we could lean on you, you could lean on us, and it helped us prosper over the years and kind of be where we are. And, you know, at the end of the day, we made some money and we could give it back to Caritas. So uh, it's kind of a, how it all comes around. But so um, lastly, I really want to thank Caritas. I mean, we've been doing this for about 15 years with Caritas. We've been throwing some money in there. We've been volunteering. Uh, but it's such a great organization. They do so many good things for so many people. Um, and I look at it this way, you know, how do you go through life without a roof over your head? I think, you know, a lot of people take that for granted. Like, what would you do tonight? I know you probably wouldn't be here, but what would you do tonight and you left here and you had nowhere to go? You know, I think, you'd, you know, you had to think that all the way through. And, you know, if, you know, how do you really carry on a job? How do you have a family? How do you... Um, just do the day in and day out type stuff if you don't have a roof over your head. And that's why it's so important for us to, to work with Caritas, and that's what Caritas does. And they do such a great job at it, whether it be somebody that had a, a tough start, somebody that's had a setback, you know, a financial issue, they're there to help pick up the pieces. And, um, you know, I can't encourage you enough if you have some cash, it is the holiday season, uh, to, to, to contribute it to Caritas. And if you don't have the cash, maybe volunteer. And, you know, for us, for the Callahans, um, we kind of put our money where our mouth is. You know, I, from what I understand, um, Caritas has raised about 800 grand so far for this event. Uh, their minimum goal is to get to a million. So um, Callahan's going to match dollar for dollar for whatever you guys do tonight to get us to that minimum goal. So, um, you know, So uh, thank you for that. We really appreciate the recognition. My mom, 95 years old, you're going to love it. And uh, thank you, Caritas. We appreciate it. Let's hear it again for the Callahan family.